Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to talk about the basic structure of a OneNote notebook. So a OneNote notebook is the container for the information about a specific facet of your world. Uh, very often, uh, this container will be for everything that is uh, related to a specific project or a specific client, um, a specific team, or really just any other facet of your world. It could be something like where you keep your recipes, or it could be where you keep your travel uh, information, things like that. And within that notebook, the most obvious structure that we have are tabs or sections, and then those sections containing pages. Let's go ahead and see how that works. If I go here to the planning tab, the first thing I want you to notice is that you can right click on the tab and you can decide to rename this tab. So maybe this would be uh, pre-project analysis would be the new name of this thing. And you can also right click on this tab and decide to change its color. So I can make this blue uh, because I think blue is a good starting point. And then within that, we have these pages. Notice on the right-hand panel, we have the ability to add a new page, and we have this first page right here. Every page is untitled until we use this text field right here to give it a name. So in the pre-project analysis, we might say this is something like initial ideation by executives. So executives. So when the executives came up with the idea of creating a Facebook marketing team, this was the brief of what that project looked like for them. And then I can either use the add page button on the right hand side or the control N keyboard shortcut to make a new blank page. Notice on the right it's also called untitled page. And I can call this page something like uh, initial meeting of team members. Okay, so we can create sections that have names and colors associated with them, and then create pages related to specific moments in time or pieces of information that are relevant to us. But there are two other structures that we could decide to use. The first and, and most um, useful to me personally is the sub page. So as we're creating pages, again, we can click on control N or we can use the little plus sign that shows up here. We use the little plus sign here, whatever we want to do. Let's say after the initial ideation by executives, I create a page right here. I'll just click the little plus sign here to make a new blank page. And I'll call this something like um, discussion with S. Ryan. So Samantha Ryan, the CEO, uh, we had a discussion with Samantha about what she thought about this team. And then after that, I'll hit the little plus sign here and I'll say this is a discussion with W. Randolph. So Willie Randolph, the CMO, uh, we had a conversation with the CMO about what that looked like. Now here's the thing. S. Ryan and W. Randolph, these two people, they're executives. So it stands to reason that these should be subordinate to the page about initial ideation by executives. All we have to do is click on this page over here on the right and then simply drag it to the right like so to nest discussion with S. Ryan underneath the initial ideation by executives. And the same way I can click and drag in the discussion with W. Randolph and nest that discussion page underneath the executives heading. Once this is done, I now have a little arrow next to initial ideation by the executives, and you can see here that I can expand and collapse the two subpages that are beneath initial ideation by executives. What's more, if I come to this spot right here, between discussion with W. Randolph and initial meeting of team members, and I click the little plus sign, notice this new untitled page is immediately nested underneath initial ideation by executives. It is immediately subordinate to the main page. So this would be discussion with marketing team. Let's say marketing management. Okay, 
So now we have the discussion with Samantha Ryan, discussion with William Randolph, and the discussion with the overall marketing management team, and they are all subordinate to the initial ideation by executives page. Again, clicking to expand and collapse that. Now what's more, I can even go a step lower than that. So if W. Randolph is a marketing, as so let's say CMO, right? then the discussion, discussion with marketing management might be subordinate to that. I can click and drag that in, making the discussion with marketing management subordinate to W. Randolph. And again, click the little plus sign here, right there, to make a new subpage. And then as I make new pages using control N, I can again put that page right there at that same level. But here's a little point about this sub sub pages, which is what we've got here, do not get the little drop down arrow. So we can collapse from the main page all the sub pages underneath that, but we cannot collapse the sub pages under a sub page like this one. So this makes sense to me. It makes sense to create subordinate pages to a main page so we can see the structure of the information. Here's another tool that we can use to organize ourselves in OneNote, however. If we right click on the tabs up here at the top of the screen, you'll see that you can create a new section group. So each of the tabs is a section. We're going to create a section group, which you know makes sense. We're going to group the tabs together. But watch how this actually comes into being. I'll click on new section group here. I'll just call this one test group so we can see it in action. Notice that it's a button over here effectively and that I can take something like budgeting and drag it into the test group. There it is. And budgeting is now inside. Notice right here, Facebook marketing team notebook test group. So the group within the notebook is where this budgeting tab is. I can use this little up arrow here to go back up a level. And you see how the budgeting tab now lives inside of the section group over here. I'll take creative and drag that in there and let go. I'll take marketing ideas and drag that in there and let go. So now I can only see the tab for pre-project analysis right here. And then I have this group that I can push the button for and see the other tabs. If I feel like I need to take the budgeting tab and move it up a level, I can drop it on top of that arrow. See that right there? Let me go back to the test group. I'll click on creative, drag it on top of the arrow and let go, and it's back out of the test group. So for me, I don't like the idea that my tabs are going to disappear, but what I can see is doing the following. I'm going to right click on this group choose rename and I'm going to call this one archive and then I'm going to create another group by right clicking on the section tab clicking new section group and I'm going to name this group um, future steps okay so let's say now that we are in the budgeting and creative phase and marketing ideas were past the pre-project analysis. It makes sense to me that in order to keep things tidy, I could take the pre-project analysis tab, drag that into the archive and let go. Then I can go back up a level and I can see just budgeting, creative, and marketing ideas. Now let's click the little plus sign here and create a tab for um, assessment. So we are going to assess the quality of our creative after our marketing has gone live. I don't really need this tab right now, so I can take assessment and drag it into future steps. And so now I have two tabs of my notebook that are for the future and the past, so I don't really need to see them right now. Only the ones that are truly active make sense to me. Now, if I was going a different direction and I was making a truly gigantic notebook about many, many different phases of the business, maybe I'd create section groups for different clients that I had. Or if I was doing this on a personal level, I could decide to create section groups for the different trips I was going on or the different types of cuisine I was tracking my recipes for, things like that.